guys and welcome back to my channel Equivision Alley. Today I wanted to bring you guys another product review of a product that I've absolutely fallen in love with and of course it happens to be by the same brand um, and that is the Superbands. So I've been using these for a few months now. I'm not actually sure when I started. It was maybe six months ago. Um, maybe a little bit less than that. And going into it, I was like, oh, this is just like any other band. Oh, all bands are the same. Boy, was I a fool because that thought process has led me to be disappointed in like three million different kinds of braiding bands. And I'd never bought these before. And so finally I got these and fell in love with them because they're not like other bands. So a little bit of backstory as to like what I've been doing with them over the few months. So I braid both my horses pretty consistently. They're braided almost every single day. Um, it helps them stay cool. Both of them have pretty substantial manes and they can get pretty hot. And in the winter time, it's mostly just to help them keep from rubbing their manes out on like the hay huts that are out there or hay rings. Um, my new barn doesn't use hay rings, but back at the old barn we did. So uh, that's kind of why I use them and I use them pretty well year round. And I got these and tried them out and did a review on my Instagram and was pretty impressed with them. But as time has gone on, I'm actually more impressed with them. So I've used them now in both hot and cold weather and I have not had a single band break. And let me show you like how many I've gone through. I've gone through more black than uh, white, but I've gone through quite a few, um, probably like half of the white, a little over half of the black. And I have not had a single band break. And it says that there's over a thousand bands in each container. So I probably used about a thousand bands and I've not had a single band break. That's not to say that they won't break, but if I've had this good of a record of one not breaking, I have to imagine that either I'm doing something magically right or these bands are just really good. So I am really happy with the fact like usually when I braid in the cold weather, I lose about half the bands that I bring out will break. And so if I'm making, if say my horse takes 13 braids of her neck and I bring out 13 bands, I will lose half of those. So I haven't done that with these. Like I don't lose bands. I cannot overestimate. Like when I put them in my, uh, I have like a braiding belt and I'll stock it up with bands. When I put those bands in my thing, I don't have to take into account the fact that I'm going to lose half the bands anymore which is just fantastic. Also something that's really nice about them is actually that they come with a uh, band ripper, a band cutter. So it's just a black band cutter. It has their brand on the other side and it has a little blade and all you do is kind of stick this little pointy bit in to one of the wraparounds of the band and you slide it down it cuts it and then you unwrap it and doing that you don't lose any hair when you use bands um i know a lot of people who are against bands say that they're against bands because of the hair loss well this kind of negates that and the fact that it's in every single container of bands means that you are far less likely to not have one on hand when you're using your bands because i mean i have what four different colors and so i have band rippers for all of them and it just makes it so much better than using like electrical tape and having to take the electrical tape off um because that doesn't tear hair either but these are easier than electrical tape trust me i <laughs> i went through that too i used to do the electrical tape so i like that they always come with a band ripper that's actually that kind of falls into one of the pros and cons and i'll now we'll start the pros and cons as I've kind of already started it, <laughs> but so yes, comes with a band ripper. That's amazing. Um, the fact that they don't break easily 
also amazing. I know I had said that earlier, but that was more in my, like, why I suddenly realized that not all bands are the same introduction there. Um, what I do like about these is that they are made in the USA. So a lot of things are hard to find made in the USA, and I have found many bands. I don't think any bands that I own other than these are made in the USA or made in, like, any other country but China. Uh, so yes, they even say it on their container. It is made in the USA. So it says over a thousand bands. What I do really like about these compared to like most other bands is they come in containers with screw top lids. This has saved me so much pain. I have like dividing containers full of my bands and they never stay organized. Like if they tilt just a hair the wrong direction, all the bands mix and all my colors are mixed and I go crazy. And so these having their own containers instead of coming in baggies where I have to put them in my own container and then my own container fails me and everything mixes together, it saves me so much stress. Uh, they're a really good affordable price for a thousand bands. It is only $7.99 on most sites. Like, I know Schneider has them priced at $7.99. Um, I think I saw on Big D's that as of, like, as of filming this, they were having a sale where they're $6.99, I think. Um, and then they're super, super stretchy. So let me pull one of these out. Like, I get so much stretch from one band. I can put all my fingers in it. I'm trying to find a way to show you guys. But like all my fingers are in that. And it's super stretched and it's there's not even a hint of it breaking. So I think that's why they do so well is that they're extremely stretchy. They're um apparently natural rubber according to the container, which is also fantastic. Um, one of the cons of this product, and I did mention it in that Instagram post, is the colors. So they have a fantastic range of colors. That's not my problem. I love the range of colors because I've actually found it to come extremely in handy for me. But, and that's different from the Instagram post because the Instagram post I was like, why? But now I'm like, okay, it came in handy, but can we rename these? So they have two red colors for us chestnut owners. One is called sorrel and one is called chestnut. Most, most chestnut owners know that sorrel and chestnut are the exact same thing. Genetically, phenotypically, they are the same. Uh, there is no difference between sorrel or chestnut. Red is red is basically the phrasing that goes along with that. So, when ordering, you look at pictures and you're like, one website I went on, the picture had the sorrel bands looking almost purple. And that was confusing. Another website I went on, the sorrel and chestnut looked the exact same. And I'm sitting here like, what do I order? And what if they don't match? Because I do want to have these in my kit for if I show. And so I'm sitting here like, oh God, like, what do I order? Sorry if you hear my dogs in the background, but uh, I ordered both and I found out that the sorrel is more of a cool red and the chestnut is more of a darker warm red. And of course it took me ordering them to figure that out. So if there could be some sort of disclaimer or maybe even just change the names to warm red, cool red, it helps people figure out what they need to buy for their horses. So that is kind of confusing. And I'll even show you here. I have very few of these left, but I will show you here. On the left, we have the sorrel. And on the right, we have the chestnut. So these are almost like a, I can see why they would have photographed as like a purpley on the one website. Um, they, they are a more cool toned red for sure. And then the uh, chestnut are a much darker, uh, warm toned, like brownie red. And so I believe in the winter GT matches the chestnut best. And in the summer he matches the sorrel really well. 
So of course, having two different options for chestnut owners is amazing, especially because like GT's tail is always almost pitch black. So the darker one, if you were just to buy one color for the whole horse, the darker one matches way better. And of course, I just use black when I get to the bottom of the snow because his tail is almost black. Um, he's for sure a chestnut. He just has an extremely dark tail. And so, of course, it's actually red, but you can't tell. Um, so my only con is that if you are a chestnut owner, you kind of got to buy both to figure it out unless you're watching my video and I feel like that confusion could easily be mitigated by changing the name or having it in the description. If your horse is a cool red, go with sorrel. If your horse is a warm red, go a warmer, darker red, go with chestnut. Like just having that distinction because some of the pictures on the websites that are selling these, like the third party websites or whatever, are inaccurate to say the least and that makes it difficult on the consumer so that is something that i did have an, an issue with on my instagram post and of course at the time i did not know that it would actually benefit me that they have two colors but as of now i'm sitting here like it is a smart idea to have these two different colors it is absolutely genius some of my other chestnut bands are kind of like an in-between of these two colors and I don't think they match anybody. Like they, maybe they match a very small percentage of chestnuts, but they don't match a lot. So having these two different colors is amazing, but it's just the presentation, I should say, the, the name choice that leads to the confusion. And I would love to see that changed or just even, like I said, a descriptor added to say what each color is more like. And um, other than that, like their blacks, their whites, I think they have a gray, a palomino, all of those. It has a fantastic color selection. It really does cover most any color, of course, and that is absolutely fantastic. So the one con is literally just the colors and a lot of people don't even have a chestnut horse, so that doesn't even bother them. So overall, these these bands are absolutely amazing to me. And... I'm pretty sure that once I run out of all the other bands, which should be relatively quickly considering how many break, uh, I will only have these in my arsenal from now on just because I love them so much. Like I really thought that I was just buying another type of band and I was wrong. With that being said, if you guys could like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And if you could comment down below if you braid your horses or not. Do you braid their manes and their tails or do you tend to just let them go au naturel? And I thank you all for watching and if you guys could join me for more of a journey that would be fantastic. Bye!